During March and April of the year 2000, the Fiji Islands experienced a prolonged period of higher than normal sea surface temperatures, peaking above 30 degrees centigrade. This led to the first major coral bleaching event ever recorded in Fiji. Eastern and southern reefs were severely impacted, with up to 99% mortality of Acropora corals on some reefs. But these southern reefs also showed remarkable recovery over the next 10 years. This program, however, tells a completely different story for another Fiji reef. To the west of Viti Levu, coral bleaching in 2000 was less severe due to somewhat lower sea surface temperatures. This program documents the condition of a fringing reef on the island of Vunavandra, about 14 kilometers northwest of Nandi Bay. Six surveys are presented here beginning in the year 2000 and continuing to 2016. To shorten this program, the videos are run at double time, but the ambient audio has not been altered. Rebar stakes mark the start and end points of this transect, but these markers disappeared after 2003. Two video transects were conducted, one from a vertical perspective to calculate percent coral cover and coral abundance, and one with a horizontal view as shown here. At the height of the bleaching event, corals appeared stressed, but bleaching was not severe. Coral cover was only 22% dominated by corals in the genus Acropora. The large brown coral on the right is Diploastria heliopora, and it became a significant marker in subsequent years. This is a completely bleached Pocillopora coral which did not survive. The greenish color is pigment remaining in the coral tissue after the brown colored algae have been expelled. This Acropora coral is totally bleached and nearly dead. In 2001, the number of corals was nearly the same as the previous year, indicating that mortality from the bleaching event was minimal. The corals returned to normal coloration and coral cover increased slightly from 22% to 25%. The large Diploastria coral was also present and in good condition. In 2003 marked the first dramatic change. The number of corals increased from 86 in 2001 to 186 colonies, dominated by the genus Acropora with 139 colonies. Coral cover doubled, increasing from 25% in 2001 to 51%, and large table Acropora were a significant feature on the reef.
By 2004, the total number of coral colonies actually decreased from 186 the previous year to only 176. But coral cover increased slightly from 51% to 52%. The staghorn corals were also showing more vertical growth, a parameter we did not measure. And we noticed that the staghorn corals were beginning to overtop some of the table corals. After eight years, the staghorn corals had completely filled in the open space at the starting point of the transect, and they were now the dominant feature on the reef. The trend of decreasing numbers of coral colonies and increasing coral cover continued. The number of corals dropped to only 120, but coral cover increased from 52% to almost 62%, and Acropora corals continued to dominate. The reef was now barely recognizable from the initial state in 2000. With so much coral growth, we speculated what it might look like on our next planned visit in 2010. To our astonishment, the reef was almost barren in 2010. The corals were mostly gone and algae covered over 10% of the reef. We counted only 51 coral colonies, and all of them were small, except for a few larger parietes, which was now the dominant coral genus. The destruction of this reef was from storm damage combined with massive flooding in the Nandi area. The diploastria was still standing, but it was dead on top, possibly from surface floodwaters mixed with strong wave action. The next opportunity to view this reef would come six years later in November 2016. The expectation was that recovery would be underway much as it had after the bleaching event 16 years earlier. Thanks to Walt Smith, I was able to access and snorkel over the Vunavandra Reef one more time to see how it looked. There was no recovery in 2016. Instead, the reef was completely scoured and unrecognizable. I oriented to a small damaged diploastria coral, but this was not the same coral from previous years. The large diploastria coral from my transect had vanished. How had this happened? Nine months prior to my visit, Cyclone Winston hit the Fiji Islands. 
It was the most intense tropical cyclone on record in the southern hemisphere and also the costliest. It reached a peak intensity on February 20th, 2016 with sustained winds of 280 kilometers per hour. A few small corals were still present and if sea and climatic conditions remain normal for the next eight to ten years, perhaps some of these corals will reach reproductive size and the coral gardens will reappear. These videos document that this reef is indeed a suitable habitat for rapid coral growth. Perhaps a coral restoration project here could be beneficial, duplicating the original diversity of corals recorded in this video. This could give corals a head start to reach maturity and spawn before the next cyclone or bleaching event. We hope to return in future years to see what happens next.